Okay, so I kind of got carried away what I was doing. Welcome back to part two. I kind of got carried away with what I was doing and I realised I hadn't made the video for this, so yeah. Uh, the spars are in place as well as the wheel well detail and the top wing. So they had the spars that were actually a bit of a model because I had to clamp him down to uh, fit them so that's going to be alright now apparently it's structured like that to get a nice very nice detail in the wings well the wheel wells there and of course then once that's on the body oh nicely done fits onto somehow like that but anyway uh, let's get this glued on. Like so. I love, I like these new Airfix kits because they're just so brilliant to build. Yeah, it's a good job I've got two of these. Good. Keep that. Oops. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Clamp the wings down now. Oops. I like how this airfix uh, actually folds them in like that, so they get a good fit issue around the actual wings of the aircraft. I wonder if they're going to bring any like these types of mouldings for like tanks at all. It would be really good if they could. Right, I think we need some more pegs. It's, that's an important key feature. When with this kit I have plenty of pegs at hand. And also it would be handy if you have a very good toolbox as well. Like that. Just take that one off. Put that one off. And drop in the same process. On the wing roots. Do 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 do. But just don't be afraid to put plenty in that wing root because it kind of, it gives it a good um, held. Uh, I don't know. Just just put plenty in. That's one wing. Wing. Also, I've got to say, um, drill some two holes in the bottom there. Like so. There you are, that's in there. More pegs. Um. Beautiful. There you are, that's the wing done. That's the main wings done. Well, say done, we've got some uh, flaps and elevators to go on yet, so it's going to be a pain. Anyway, uh, wait there to dry and we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so again, you've had a one massive jump up again. It's because I kind of made a mistake. The wings need to be fitted on with just this part and not the cockpit. Uh, to achieve, if you've done this, all you have to do is just sand a bit off here and here and it will fit on it. It's a very, very tight fitting, but as well as a tight fitting, it's a good fit. Nothing, no filler needed at all. Just glue it straight on. 
So that's one advantage from it. Yeah, so if you're building the kit uh, and you're not following along with this, just build this fuselage section, section first and then put the wings on and then the cockpit. It'll make it so much easier for you. It really would. So, uh, what's next? Let's have a look at the instructions. Next step is ah the tailplane and ailerons the flaps of course as well that's going to be a bit annoying but fun at the same time hmm uh what to do the funny enough the engines are the last things to do apparently to this but which is pretty wrong so I have to see how it goes on. Uh, I personally wouldn't do the engines last. To put them on. But. Hmm. I think I'm going to call it a night on this one. Because it's. Uh, not the minute. I'm just saying it's, it's nice. <laughs> so what time is it now? It's half nine at night. I've done pretty well on it. I don't know actually I might do a bit more who knows but I will still record for you guys um, either see you in a bit or see you in the morning ok the last we're the main instruction construction of this aircraft is the elevators and tail and again beautifully detailed and set out by airfix another thumbs up to her and oh, what can I say the Blenheim is looking a very nice aircraft at the minute. It... Oh yeah, I see it. here. They're pushed for all the way forward and this left back in order for that pin to slot in there like that. That's really good of them to do that for you. But it's better just like put it all together in one so that it's all kept up nice and straight. And that. So it's very tricky though as well. Especially with all these fiddly parts and that might be taking that shot now because I have to bring her right up close to see another thing, watch for fingerprints as well. As I've just done at the bottom. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh well, just get a small sander on that. No big deal. Sorry for the pause. It's very weird how this gold goes together. I like the bow fight of the tail, tail is up like that. This has a nice, um, I, I don't know how to put it. Has like, excuse me, some nice tails. That's sort of like that. It's. I really like this glue because it's extra thin. It very dries very good, very quick, precise to the point. So, so well, it's Tamiya, so stuff they produce these days is absolutely amazing. In plastic model kits. Probably heard the news in the background. Still going about the. Uh, ISIS bombing and that. You should watch my video I put on Facebook of those Russian Russian Katushkas. Bloody amazing that was. Yeah, I might need some cell tape. Another thing is that you've got to keep the elevators the exact same height on that. 
I think I'm just going to let that dry for a bit actually. Uh, and then, mm. Yeah, nice, nice looking, isn't it? Let's focus you up a bit more. Oh, that's it. That's really it. The tail's there. I'll put that on a bit once I let that dry. See you in a bit. Back again. Uh, let this dry for a bit. All nice and done. I love this. I love this tail at the back. It gives it a nice. Uh, I don't know. It's just the design of the aircraft looks very nice. And this, I like this one because you can actually sit at a different angle if you prefer. I always like to keep mine like straight. I do. I don't know why. I just do. No, it is. It would be nice to give it a bit of detail that turned probably. Hmm. That's good. That's good like that, I suppose. No, I'll keep it straight. Crap, that's just fine. Yeah, there's a tail on. It's a very nice tail after it the blender does feature. So there you are. Looks very good. Mm, I like it. Mm. You really like it a lot, this bomber. Okay, so we've now got the main construction of the aircraft complete. Uh, I think the next step is to put the uh, elevators, not on the elevators. Well, you know what I mean anyway. The control surfaces on the wings. Uh, I'm going to have the, I've decided to have the, the flaps open along here. Uh, that's going to be, yeah, pretty awkward because I need to like put something inside, like tape or something, in order to protect it. Another thing I'm going to do while I'm at it is go put this, um, this part in its Let's find it. Mm -hmm. There you go. This part, uh, it features above the bomb bay, and on top of it goes the machine guns. So that's going to be pretty interesting, I guess. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I'm just having a look now. What? Because, well, apparently the the gun bay thing, the guns here, all painted black. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to think I'm going to leave that off uh, to again one of the last parts because uh, it's you know it'll just get over the white. So yeah, that's my intention of doing that. I think and after that, I'll be the installation of the engines. Again, another tricky part of the flaps are here. And you can have them uh, elevated down or up. So, I think I'm just going to leave them down because it looks better. I always like leaving stuff open on an aircraft. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, what else to talk about? Nothing much, really. I'll get on and do this and come back to you in about about a couple of minutes okay so end of part two is here and as you can see she's looking like the real thing just minus the engines and the gun bays and everything else like that so in all fairness looking pretty good I decided to leave the flaps off as it well I don't know how to glue them on and put parts Inside, I'm not sure, but I'll admit I'm just leaving them off and see what happens then. Uh, well, so uh, nothing else, been great so far, and happy you guys are following along with it. So, with that, I bid you farewell, 
Take care and be back for part three very much soon.